Hi guys, what I'm going to teach you today is I'm going to talk about the problems in pacing, the three failures, failure to pace, failure to sense, failure to capture, and I'm going to try and explain it in a fairly easy format. All right, so we're going to talk about failure to pace. Now what failure to pace is, is you've got pacing happening and it goes along and we're in VVI mode, so we're just for ease of teaching. Um, so you've got these pacing spikes that are followed by a mechanical capture. But what happens in failure to pace is you don't have actually have any pacing spikes and then they start again. And what's happened here is it's picked up electromagnetic interference and you'll see a flash of sensitivity on the pacemaker. So basically what the problem is here is the sensitivity line is way too low. So the millivolts are actually turned right down. So the fence is all the way down, seeing too much and at this point, it thinks this electromagnetic interference is some sort of intrinsic activity. So therefore, it doesn't pace. How do you fix it? You just need to bump up the millivolts. And in essence, what you're going to do is bring that off the line and it'll actually start to pace and will be followed by a mechanical capture and you'll have blood pressure. All right, the next one is failure to sense. This is the exact opposite. So what happens here is you've got some activity, intrinsic activity. However, the pacemaker can't see this activity. So what happens here is it's all the way up here. So the millivolts are way too high. So the fence is quite tall and the pacemaker can't see what's going on. So it knows it has to give the set rate. So it starts giving the set rate. And unfortunately, it sometimes can give the set rate in the wrong spot. Now this isn't capturing because it's not on enough, but here is what we call the R on T. So this is the R, that's your T wave. R on T will usually equal in something entertaining. So what you need to do is bring the fence down or bring the millivolts down. When you bring them down, it's able to see what's going on. And instead of randomly pacing, it'll give you some sensing and it'll pace at the appropriate place. The next one, and the last one, is failure to capture. All failure to capture is not enough output. So you've got these pacing spikes happening and they're followed by a mechanical capture. And you've got pacing spikes then with no mechanical capture and let's say they start again. So what's happened here is pace, capture, pace, capture, pace, capture. Here, pace, 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 but not followed by any capture. All it means is your milliamps are too low. Increase the output or the milliamps. So theoretically making the pacing spike longer and that will always then result in a failure, uh, in a rectification of the failure to capture. The reason these things happen is because of what I call TKVO. So the old adage of to keep vein open, or I use it as temperature, potassium, volume, oxygen. So hypothermia will change things. Uh, hypovolemia, electrolytes, which is hypo, hypovolemia, um, and hypoxia. And that's it.